and I ended it with that because that's the first hit of the drum solo, which is the next part. So uh, this part is, uh, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. When I figured out what it was, and I realized you have to play that open, uh, that open low D, that was when I realized this, the song must be in drop D. I guess it's possible that in that quiet middle part, they stop, retune the guitar, but <laughs> when I watched a video of them playing this live, there was no stopping and retuning. So um, if you want to play the chords that are on the recording at least, it's got to be in drop D. So here are those chords slowly. The next thing that happens is the drum solo and there are these hits. These are the hardest thing to figure out in the whole tune. Um, I'm not even 100% sure that I've got them right, but this is pretty close. The first hit is an F and an E. That comes right after the riff that we just played, so. That's a tough change. Um, the next two hits are the two that I'm most confused about. It sounds to me, and this is what the hor horns are playing, just a power chord uh, motion here. The next one is a C sharp and a G sharp. Hit it twice. The next one is just once. It's, a, it's just B and F sharp. Then this one's a little confusing. The bass plays a D and an F, and the um, tenor sax plays a G sharp and a C. I think the guitar just plays F and G up to a, and then you move that G up to a G sharp. So all those hits are The last thing that you need to know to play this song is when it goes back into this riff. Before it gets into that riff, it plays something that sounds an awful like, lot like the very first heavy riff, but it's not quite the same. It goes... So that... Chicka chicka da, that's an F, and then an F tritone, which is an F and a B. And then instead of doing the, you'll remember from the first heavy riff where we played an F, it's the same thing, or almost the same thing, only now it's on an E and an A. And then into that riff that precedes the bridge. So again, that's... etc.